Good day. Let's get into this. Kim Kardashian, the modern day Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> no, 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 you are not about to pelt me with tomatoes and stones. Let's talk about it. Hello, 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 Kim K viewers. How are you today? And if you're still here, thank you, because I know many people disagree with this. But today we are speaking about Kim Kardashian being today's Marilyn Monroe. And this was something that really was cemented in my mind after seeing Kim Kardashian at the most recent Met Gala, wearing the iconic dress worn by Marilyn Monroe when she sang Happy Birthday, Mr. President to John F. Kennedy. Now I know, I know, I know, you must be saying Marilyn Monroe, the iconic actress who starred in movies like Some Like It Hot, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes, The Seven Year Itch, and then you have Kim Kardashian who acted in, what was the name of that one movie? Oh yes, that's right. Marilyn Monroe, first of all, was famous in the 50s and 60s, a time when you had to be talented in performance of some sort, whether it be acting or singing. Today, Kim Kardashian grew up in a world where reality TV and social media can propel you to the top. So yes, there's a change in currency. And the reason why still, if you're not with me yet, why am I comparing the two? Obviously because of pop culture impact. Now to me, I've always felt Marilyn Monroe was more famous than her work. To me, there are two types of famous people. You have famous people whose work supersedes them. Think of Frances McDormand. We know her work, we've seen her movies, we've seen her win Academy Awards, but do we really think of her as a star or more of a working actress? And then you have an actress like Meryl Streep, who, whose work is phenomenal, classic after classic, but Meryl Streep is a star. Meryl Streep, you know who she is, you hear that name, you know Meryl Streep, but do you know her movie She Devil? Do you know all the other movies? Of course she has classics like The Devil Wears Prada and many, many of her movies. So great perfection, right? But you think of Meryl Streep first before you think of her movies. And that is what Marilyn Monroe is to me. And she, her impact on pop culture had to do more with her celebrity, her image, more than any of her roles. And that's my humble opinion. Because honestly, before doing her videos, I had to go look up the names of her movies. Of course, I recognize the scenes from her movies, but did I actually watch the full movie? I think the only movie that I've watched from Marilyn Monroe, not I think, I know that I've watched from Marilyn Monroe, is Some Like It Hot, which was a controversial movie back in the day because they had men dressed in drag. But here we are. So now that we have that established, Kim Kardashian, Marilyn Monroe. They're pretty level on their impact on culture and being a celebrity and well-known and as far as that, right? So yes, Kim Kardashian is pretty friggin' iconic at this point. But you know, a reason why a lot of people would not want to accept this reality is just because of how Kim Kardashian has gotten to where she is. Mind you, the original who started this was the Paris Hilton. Being famous for nothing is what people like to say just for being rich and pretty. Now, Kim Kardashian, she also became famous from a sex tape. What are some of her other cons? A lot of women feel that she's blackfish to get to where she is, and by this, her and her sisters, as white women, white ethnic women, which is a term, <laughs> they have taken themselves and gone to plastic surgeons and transformed their bodies to have the features that are genetically the norm of black women and black women have been criticized for decades for having bigger lips, bigger behinds, not being thin enough, but now they have taken that and made it trendy. And to be quite honest, the look that you see on Instagram, those that's pretty much based off of black women, but at the same time, nobody really wanted to do that until well, the lips Angelina Jolie, without a doubt. But the bodies, Kim Kardashian and the Kardashian Jenners. I hate to say that. Another big con of Kim Kardashian is with so much influence and the influence that she has is she promotes 
this image of perfection. I mean, she was just recently quoted saying, probably in a jokingly way, that if she had to eat feces, shit, to continue to make herself look young, she would do that. What sort of message is that sending out to women? You can't age gracefully. You're continuing the cycle that Hollywood has created. You know, that women are disposable after a certain age. Another con, again, is she comes from privilege. For those of you that don't know, Robert Kardashian, the famous lawyer that defended O.J. Simpson, who won, is Kim Kardashian's father. And so she grew up in Beverly Hills. She grew up very upper middle class and upper class. And so she doesn't know what it is to struggle, but she might have her own struggles, but she had a head start in life. She absolutely did. And a lot of people, and that's the thing with society. We love an underdog story. We don't want to see the rich person become richer. It's just the way it is. And especially in the time that we're in now, I mean, maybe in the 90s, you know, because, well, the same thing with Donald Trump. So many people admire Donald Trump, but now we see who he really is, right? But in the 90s, hip hop, black hip hop artists referred to Donald Trump as, you know, a goat of some sort. So, I mean, now that in the time that we're in, we love to see people from lower economic standings rise to higher standards. And that's why a lot of people will not accept Kim Kardashian, especially when she makes blunt sound bites like. I have the best advice for women in business. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. You That's have to, so true. You have to surround yeah. yourself with people that want to work. Have a good work environment where everyone loves what they do because you have one life. No toxic work environments. You see what I'm saying? So people are rubbed the wrong way. And to tell you the truth, we as the public, we're a very fickle and emotional bunch. We want to be mad at the person that has everything because from our position, we don't see what goes on behind the scenes in their life. We just see the glamour that happens in their life. And so we feel as though, oh yeah, she has everything. Why should we feel sorry for her? This is a perfect opportunity to bring her down to our level. So yeah, but what are some cons about Kim Kardashian? She's smart. She knows what she's doing. She's calculated. Kim Kardashian knows how to treat people from a public standing. She's super sweet. She's super kind. She puts out a message of positivity in the best way that she can. What else? Hmm. Her work ethic. Her work ethic is out of this world. You cannot deny Kim Kardashian's work ethic. She's pretty amazing when it comes to that and you cannot falter on that. Also, something that might seem a con, which is actually a pro, is her desperation. Kim Kardashian has spoken many times how desperate she was, you know, to be famous, to get to the level where she's at. And that has probably helped her. You know, she's jokingly said like in the new season of her show, The Kardashians, you know, it was between her and her sister Kendall for getting the cover of Vogue. And she said she would literally kill her sister to get on the cover. So there's a desire. You know, you can have all the talent. You can be destined for greatness. But if you don't want it, you're not gonna get to that level. Kim Kardashian wants this. And hey, you can't deny that. And again, comparing the two, what Kim Kardashian has done has gotten her to a level in pop culture and Hollywood. I mean, she knows who to date to get herself in the right doors. Kanye West. Kim Kardashian went from wearing Hervé Leger, is that the, how you pronounce it? The bandage dresses, to literally being on the cover of Vogue. From, I mean, Anna Wintour wouldn't even look her way. Now she is on the cover of Vogue. So let's speak about the influence because Marilyn Monroe, her impact on pop culture, her influence, undeniable. Kim Kardashian's influence on pop culture, that is also undeniable, but is people won't accept it because there's no talent behind it in the traditional sense. In the traditional sense. And that's what a lot of people have an issue with is that people who become famous don't do it in a traditional way, which is the way of the world now, right? 
because you have all jumping from topic to another topic is why you have a lot of America sort of fighting against a change for a more liberal America because of tradition is not the way it should be. And here, that's why people can't accept Kim Kardashian. Why? Because she is not becoming famous and this absolute powerhouse, a billionaire, by doing it the traditional way. And speaking also, the desperation that I spoke about Kim Kardashian. At one point, it was no longer the Kardashians, it was the Jenners. Kylie, who still has the most Instagram followers, but at one point it was Kylie with the most Instagram followers. Kylie, who became the billionaire, and Kim was like, oh, oh no. She's not about to be the star of this family. That's me, I started this shit. So she went and did everything she needed to do. She then became a billionaire. Her Instagram following is pretty much, you know, in the 300 million range with Kylie, but it's still not up there with Kylie's. But Kim was like, no, I need to reclaim my title, <laughs> you know? So she's very competitive as well, which she does it with the facade of graciousness. And that works for a lot of people. People don't care if you're a good person. People care if you're a nice person. Ah, I hope you guys remember that. Again, people don't care if you are a good person. They only care if you're a nice person because why? Humans are very emotional. And as long as you make them feel great, does it really matter what your true morals and values are as long as you keep them to yourself? Right? <laughs> but again, influence. Let's speak about influence. First of all, I want to give a huge shout out to Mother Queen, Kris Jenner. Yes, Kris Jenner has the reputation of, what, of being a viper. She's turned her children into a business. And trust me, I believe Kris Jenner is the type who is very manipulative. I mean, come on. She manipulates storylines for this show. And I sh believe she's the type that she always wants her children to be happy. But if her child, I feel, was with somebody she didn't approve of, she would do the behind, some behind the scenes meddling and sabotage that. And then they would wonder what happened. All the while it was Kris Jenner who sabotaged it, but she did what she had to do to make sure that her family was protected. And yes, and this is why I want to shout Chris out because what she has built from Kim Kardashian's sex tape to an, an entire empire of her grandchildren, all these 15 plus businesses that are all under her umbrella and she gets what, a 10% manager's fee? And her children love her. Her children love her because what they have built, what she's built for them, they are happy with. So Chris, a shout out to you. Side note, another thing that I love which Chris has done is she's made the entire family rich and the entire family famous. And I noticed this a couple of years back when most of them were at the Met Gala. So often, one person in a family who comes from a lower economic background or even middle class becomes super successful, super wealthy. And everyone else in the family is you know, middle class, and they look up to the one person who has the money. Chris has made it so that all of her children have a great income, a great net worth, so that they don't need to look to each other or look to that one person to survive. And I absolutely love that. So again, Chris, you get all the flowers. So with that being said, let's talk about that influence that she's built for them. The Kardashians on Hulu. And Kim is now part of the Disney umbrella because if you don't know, Hulu is a part of the Disney umbrella. So now the Kardashians are a part of Disney, okay? So say what you want about not being officially in Hollywood or being a part of reality TV and just being famous for no reason, but you are now a part of the Disney world. And we know the influence that Disney has on all of us. I mean, for, it's for the very same reason why we believe in fairy tales and relationships. You're one true prince or princess charming. Disney and the Kardashians are a part of that. Also with Kim Kardashian, she has pretty much become a fashion icon. 
whether or not you, you know, in a, in a world where Beyonce and Rihanna are sort of taking a low-key approach and being more focused in a private way in their personal lives, Kim Kardashian has jumped to the forefront. I mean, she doesn't have Kanye anymore, but he propelled her fashion-wise. She's on the cover of Vogue. She climbed her way up. People literally, she influences again. She influenced beauty standards, face, body, her fashion choices. The Balenciaga, Balenciaga is all of a sudden seems to be every damn wear wearing these monochromatic tights and heels, which pretty basic, but Kim Kardashian is influencing that world as well. The influence that this woman has, she's just monopolizing on it, it seems. She just released her new skincare line, which Skims, which is body wear to, you know, help women have that more ideal body. The influence is impeccable because she speaks to women and the ideals of women. Heck, even black women have bought into it, many have. There are many that criticize her because again, they, there are black women who feel that. Black women who naturally have what Kim Kardashian has, you know, they are looked at as ghetto. And the style choices, the cornrows and whatever else, when the rest of the, you know, white world, <laughs> Kim Kardashian makes it iconic. So yeah, that's pretty much why I feel Kim Kardashian is the modern day Marilyn Monroe, is her impact, her image. I feel at the end of the day, like Marilyn Monroe, Kim Kardashian will be remembered as a superstar. And law, moving forward into the future, you know, reality TV and social media might be seen as a standard. But by the time, say another 60, 70 years from now, when we have, when someone else is saying XYZ is the modern day Kim Kardashian, their version of getting to fame might be seen as how unacceptable non-traditional is that? So yeah, again, Kim Kardashian, she's not perfect and she's very much of capitalism. And you know, even when she's doing her um, prison reform, yeah, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just leave it at that. She's building a brand that speaks to the masses. You know, to be honest, a lot of the mass, the public, we're all sheep. We're sheep. And a lot of people buy into it again. It's not how good of a person you are, it's how nice of a person you are and how you treat people. So yeah, Kim Kardashian, you are a star. And honestly, I don't see you going anywhere for a while. Neither do I see any of the rest of the Kardashian Jenner clan going anywhere. As long as <laughs> that Kris Jenner has some pep in her step. Yeah, we'll see more of Kim Kardashian. But Kim K viewers, if you made it till the end, thank you so much for watching. Please follow us on social media. Please like, subscribe, comment. And if you want us to speak about a topic, comment in our section below. I really appreciate you for watching and tuning in. So until next time, take care Kim K viewers.